Final road, Pichu Fox versus Snake Roy on PS2. And we got the best bandana, yo. It's already, it's already looking grim. They already got the color counter pick. Oh, but nice little baby combo. But you see, oh, we got the lightning loops. Oh, from Doom Team V sponsoring the new lightning loops from Pichu. Yeah. Wait, see, this is exactly what I said. Especially against a big body like Snake, even though he's not exactly like a super heavyweight big, he's still the tallest target. Yeah, on the stage right now. Like, Snake, Snake's always been kind of a tanky character. I mean, like Thunder, he, Thunder he, kills you at 20 no matter what you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to expect like Snake to probably be um, maybe slight support, but mainly I feel like Goffin is going to be the one running in with Roy. And with the yellow team, I feel like their strategy is just like they're, super they're, aggro. They're I think both these characters like kind of need to, well, is going to survive in an aggro environment. Like oh, they really Jesus. don't have a lot of defense in a sense. But they're going to live and die by just call out moves. Yeah, basically. They just need to be the aggressors for like the entire match. You're like, just a very high explosive team with Fox Pikachu. Like, Jackal ended up dying because uh, Gen just ran up, up smashed with no yeah. regard to his partner. Knowing it's like, oh, you die to like no hits. Ooh. So. Forward smash. Oh. What? Oh, okay, that was weird. Yellow team had like a tech stage on raid, but like nothing just came of it. Oh, these juggles coming out. Aw, oh, man. Rafe wasn't ready for the. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Th that was so. That was such a good bait. Baiting the shield grab and punishing with a C4 drop. Yo, so that good. C4 has deceptively long range. Yeah. A nice up air to finally get rid of. Uh, like, Snake stock. Yeah, if the C4 is on like a platform and you're below the platform, it's gonna hit you. Nice force smash punish on the landing of a Oh my goodness. And see, this is the biggest pro. Oh, oh, oh. missed time. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pichu is just doing whatever. See, that's the thing. It's like you can't ignore Pichu because Pichu is just going to. Get so much percent, and then you're just gonna have uh, again running in with Fox, just tossing those up smashes like he's trying to feed children. Just feed the starving children of Africa with all of these <laughs> up smashes. Spamming. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh he, ki he killed himself. That's unfortunate. Look oh, at this, these this jungle oh coming out. Yo, team. It's crazy. It's just so much offensive pressure. See, any other any other character would have died. Oh, oh yeah, he's dead. You're dead. And just for disrespect. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate the attempt, but it just didn't really work out. Yeah. See, Rafe got abused. There's just no other way to say it. Rafe just got abused. Like, Pichu just went in his face, got him to the percent he needed, and it's just like, oh, hey, again, just, just throw up smashes. One of them will hit. They just hit. And they're running back. Yeah. The stage wasn't the problem. It was honestly just play style and character. Yeah. Wraith needs some. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Wraith. Either Wraith switches off to, from Snake or Goffin either plays more of a supportive role to help Snake out when he's off stage or in disadvantage. The problem or is a, a, like a character that allows him to do that. Yeah, better. but the thing is like you have Snake who should be more of the long range turret. While Roy does everything in front. Yeah. But Rave's personality is that he wants to be the center of attention. <laughs> so that clashes with Snake, especially in doubles, and you end up with Snake taking more damage than he really should, getting isolated and just getting punished without him really being able to do anything. Oh, that was almost a really good team combo there from the blue team. Unfortunately, Fox fell out of Roy's nair. It's looking a bit more fun. But you see, anytime you do anything, just yeah. eat a free up smash. They don't need to kill you now, it'll kill you eventually. And see, Rafe is doing. Ooh. See, I like the. Oh, oh. the nice spike coming out from um, Jackal. Oh, again, again! The double spike! It's just too easy with this character. Yeah. 
Like, who cares if you... It's like, oh, you die light. I'm like, that's not going to matter in this place. Yeah. Like, this is the kind of team plan Yellow Team needed, which is to be constant control of the match, constantly putting on pressure and damage. And now Rafe is just trying to fish for C4 or up tilt. But you're just too slow to Peach's, uh, Peach's frames. Yeah. Uh, not, they don't. They had both team. Like blue team had both members of the yellow team off the side of the stage. And so you, Peach, you died yeah. at like what 100 to 120, 130. That's not. Oh, another one. Oh goodness. Yo, Peach. Jackal was like three for three on those spikes in this match. It's crazy. Well, considering how strong it is, like. Yeah. I think it's a combination of. Oh, oh my god, Fox's star KO scream is crazy. Are they gonna finally get, try to get something going, but... Yeah. Rave can't really take any hits on oh, their both on stage. Oh, and that's friendly unfortunate. Fire. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's not looking too good for our heroes here at third, <laughs> at third day. Yeah. Uh, Rave? Okay, Rave. You're cool, Rave. Oh, that lightning. Uh, uh, is he? Oh my god, oh my goodness. Yo, uh, that, that's Jackal is four for four on spikes. Even even Yo. his teammate isn't safe from the destruction. Oh my goodness. Oh he made it back! Oh wow. You know, I'm not used to how far Snake can make Oh my good. Five for five on spikes. It is just from Jackal. Too easy everyone with this those little Pikachu hands are rated E for everyone. Everyone can catch these spikes right now. Oh. oh, cracking skulls. It's like, you want a headbutt? Here you go.